remember it is us who raised the alarm. Actually, when I, the report came to me, I talked about it during the last uh, Mashuja day, in, uh, which we held in DVC. That's when we got the report that about 53 girls had been impregnated in one school in Cheskaki ward. Um, out of that, we have held stakeholder meetings in Sirisia and uh, other parts of Bungoma. I attended the Sirisia one. The first thing that we are doing is first to sensitize uh, the communities about the early pregnancies because we cannot just load the blame on, say, the girls, the girl child. The boys are involved, the parents are involved. Uh, other stakeholders, say, border border that are meeting here today, are also involved. Uh, most, of the, most of them are the ones who transport these girls. So we are getting to the bottom of the problem. Let's not just treat the symptoms. We want to get to the bottom of the problem. Uh, and we have, uh, when in one of the stakeholder meetings, we are told issues like uh, poverty, uh, where you know a child is tempted, is lured into uh, that uh, kind of activity by small tokens, like maybe even, even 1,000 shillings, or you know some of them cannot afford sanitary pads. Uh, so these are the issues that we, we are dealing with. I have called a stakeholder meeting, education stakeholder meeting, on Tuesday 16th, where we invited all members of parliament, members of county assembly, all the stakeholders in the education sector, so that we look at this problem together. So I think it's not time to blame each other. It's a time to uh, address the issue. Like I say, when you are in a hole, you don't fight. You look for ways of getting out of the hole. You don't start abortioning blame. So I think we're addressing the issue. It's real, and I'm sure we're going to get on top of it. Uh, I want to make a very radical proposal. I know uh, it's controversial where they have said uh, girls get pregnant and then they should go back to school. You know, in the past, such things never used to be there. There must be a very, a very uh, punitive measure where you say if you get pregnant, you will not go back to school. That will be the end of your education. So that it acts as a deterrent for those who may be tempted to get inside things. Because in these days, you know, it's just like you go, get pregnant, go back to school and continue with your, your, your life. So I think we need to come up with, uh, we need to relook at that. Uh, and of course, if uh, those uh, people are also going to uh, say impregnant school children who are underage, I think the law is very clear. We also need to take punitive actions because the law is already there. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. Let us just implement the law the way it is. Uh, we, um, uh, through other organizations, because of that publicity, have come up. And uh, what, what we did, for example, last year, towards the end of last year, was to provide sanitary towels. The organizations that are providing sanitary towels to the girls. Uh, there are also organizations that are coming up to uh, also sponsor this, uh, what I'm talking about, the sensitization uh, uh, programs. So we have uh, put in place, county government in partnership with other organizations, we are partnering to ensure that we address the issue through provision of things like sanitary towels and addressing also, you know, what, like we said, if we address the issues of poverty, for example, even when we are talking about agriculture, provision of substrate fertilizer, provision of free fertilizer, once there is food security, you know we also then uh, take care of the, the children because most of them, like we listen to the stories and the parents say that out of poverty, sometimes there some go to visit their, their relatives you know, who may have food and in, in, the, in the process they get uh, pregnant. If you go to Mount Elgon, for example, you, realize, you find that there's a lot of incest also because uh, most of them, again, because of poverty, they are sharing small houses and uh, as a result of that, they end up uh, getting into relationships that lead to pregnancy. So we are addressing it as a county government in partnership with other uh, well-wishers. Because you see, when you are heading a county where 53 girls are pregnant in one school, definitely you can't be comfortable. So I'm committed and that's why I have called this stakeholder meeting because I think it's a, a problem that we must all address. Um, I am also committed uh, through my attendance of the sensitization programs that we have planned in the county. So I'm sure that by <coughs> mid this year, by June uh, this year, we should be able to see a great uh, transformation on what has been happening. Once we diagnose the problem, we will then prescribe the proper medicine for it.